What's up, guys? Uh, I'm trying to do the maximum amount of my time. And, well, I'd like to share with you some uh, observations I've had in the past several days. But also, I want to encounter the uh, hotel brand. And uh, I offered them to come out with the answers. Kasi yung tema ng project na pinupuno ko na is parang, well, parang workspace. And you know me, okay? You know influencers like me, they need workspace to uh, quietly, quietly produce content or meet clients or close sales. Okay? So, medyo, so talagang inline siya sa, sa brand ko. I offered them. Okay, so, bigyan nila ako ng, uh, bigyan nila ako ng details on how to do it. And, to my somewhat astonishment, binipaste nila yung qualifications, okay, qualifications ng isang uh, influencer, isang influencer, dapat marami kong followers, marami kong uh, subscribers, marami kong likes, Likes ha, okay. Likes is one of their <laughs> it's one of their criteria. Likes. Okay. Likes of both Facebook and Instagram. Thought of my followers, of course. Now I gave them a little tip. Na dapat i-based din nila sa sa content na sa content na nilalabas ng influencer. Iba dapat ganun. Okay? Kasi low circle sa kanila. Puro vanity metrics ang basis nila. So I gave them a little, just a little tip. Okay? I'm not, uh, I wasn't uh, gunning for, for a slot in their, in their influencer roster. You know, I'm not gunning for that slot anymore at that point. So just a little tip. Dapat, i-based din nila sa, nilalabas na content ng influencer. If it's, well, if it has to educational value, If I were them, I wouldn't get that influencer. Something to that effect, sinab sinabi ko. Then, tinumusto ko after okay, several days. Tapos sab sabi nila nakakuha na rin sila. And, as my reaction, in-emoji ko sila ng ano yung, yung laughing dalawang laugh emojis <laughs> so yun ang yun ako then binlock ko na sila yes folks binlock ko <laughs> kasi personally I wouldn't be um, I wouldn't be uh, going for such brands to, uh, to I wouldn't I wouldn't be with such brands na puro vanity metrics na ang basihan that's why they're called vanity metrics Okay. They are called vanity metrics because they are that vanity. Superficial lang ang that's the superficial data. Superficial data lang yun. If brands these days would go for uh, would go for content as a criterion, siguro marami siguro marami na talagang Marami talagang influencers ang sisikat ngayon. Right now, you got more likes in one photo, influencer ka na. You got, um, you got more followers than, oh, than, than the usual. You got more followers than usual, influencer ka na. For me, go for, uh, for influencers like me. It should be that way. The true sign of, in, of an influencer is the engagements. Okay? Comments, DMs, and, uh, um, personalized communication, personalized communication to your fans. Dapat okay? ganun. Brands should not base their, uh, should not base brand deals 
on vanity metrics. Okay? We should not base it on vanity metrics. That's all. That's my point. That's my observation. That's my point of view. Brands these days should base uh, should base on content. Kung makabuluhan ba ang content ng isang influencer or uh, or if that influencer is actually making uh, making headway with what he or she is advocating. Dapat yun. Okay, do, ganun, ha? So, well, that brand stays blocked. <laughs> if that brand stays blocked, hindi ko know. I won't be... I won't be unblocking that brand anytime soon because personally I do not want to work with such brands na hindi based on vanity metrics. So, well, that's my observation. Bye guys. Till next video.